Good day, Tabalites. Welcome to our English class. I am your English teacher, Mrs. Geraldine Ayiranzo. And as part of our English literacy program, we have char, or cam, hang out, and read. Before we proceed, let us know first the objectives of our modules. Number one, identify what a news report is. Number two, identify what a speech is. And number three, get a news information from the news report and speech provided. But before that, let us have some tips on how to improve your reading comprehension skill. Number one, improve your vocabulary. It means the more words you know, the better. Number two, come up with questions about the text you are reading. Number three, use context clues. Four, look for the main idea. Next, write summary of what you read. Number six, break up the reading into smaller sections. And last, pace yourself. So our first topic is a news entitled, Roque. Duterte to deliver Sona at Batasan even as some expected attendees tested positive for COVID-19. But before we proceed, let us have first the unlocking of difficulties by providing the meaning of the unfamiliar words from the news. Let us have the first one. The first one is render. It is a verb, which means provide or give. It can be a service or a help, etc. The sentence is, the small amount of money given to me serves as a reward for the services I rendered to them. The next word is statement, or it's a noun, a definite or clear expression of something in speech or writing. The sentence is, the statement by the president was clear and meaningful. Number three, deliver, which means state in a formal manner. The teacher will deliver a speech in front of the parents for the PTA meeting tomorrow. The next one is protocols. It's a noun, which means the official procedure or system of rules governing affairs of state or diplomatic occasions. The sentence is, in our office, there are safety protocols to be followed before going inside. For the last word, we have event. It's another noun. It means a planned public or social occasion, a thing that happens, especially one of importance. The special event will happen tomorrow. So remember those unfamiliar words for you to understand the news better. Now, for our lesson, we have the sources of information. Are you familiar with them? So there are many sources of information that we can use in our daily living, which includes news reports, speeches, informative talks, panel discussions, archives and manuscript material, photographs, audio recordings, video recordings, films, journals, letters and diaries, scrapbooks, published books, newspapers, etc. But for the meantime, we will be focusing on news report first. News reports are found in newspapers and can be seen on television. Their purpose is to inform readers of what is happening in the world around them. They contain four important elements, which are facts or real information, context or the meaning of the news, impact, Effect of the news and emotion, which refers to the feelings. Let us have some examples of news reports. Number one is, provinces delay entry of Metro Manila travelers during general quarantine. Or government urged increased POVs to protect a public from COVID-19. So now, class, are you ready? Come. Hang out and read. Now, let us have comprehension check. 
take note tabalites you have to read the questions carefully as well as the choices for you to be able to find the correct answer So class, we are done with our first reading selection. Our next selection is a speech. Are you ready? For our next reading selection, it is a speech which is entitled Gettysburg Address by Abraham Lincoln. Again, let us have some vocabulary words for you to better understand it. The first one is conceived. It is a verb or an action word, a form or device, a plan or idea in the mind, become affected by a feeling. Let us use it in a sentence. The result was conceived from his perseverance in making the project successful. The second one is proposition, a noun, a statement or assertion that expresses a judgment or opinion. I like his proposition about equality of men. For the third one is endure. It is a verb which means suffer. Patiently remain in existence or last. I can't endure the pain of losing my dream of becoming a teacher. Now number four is consecrate, a verb again which means make or declare something sacred. Our church was consecrated by the bishop centuries ago. Number five is hallow, which means honor as holy. The priest hallowed the wine. Number six is nobly. It is an adverb. In a way that shows fine personal qualities or high moral principles, gallantly, from a family of high rock. Let us use it in a sentence. A great soldier fought nobly in many battles. Number seven is vain, an adjective, which means producing no result, useless, having or showing an excessively high opinion of one's appearance, abilities, or worth. Sentence is, please don't let the workers suffer in vain. Number eight word is perish, which is a verb. Suffer complete ruin or destruction. Suffer death, typically in a violent, sudden, or untimely way. The sentence is, don't let our hopes be perished. For our next vocabulary word, we have devotion, which is a noun. It means love, loyalty, or enthusiasm for a person activity or cause the sentence is my devotion for teaching will remain forever and our last vocabulary word is struggle which is a verb it means make forceful or violent efforts to get free of restraint or constriction the sentence is the boy struggled hard before reaching the fruit of his labor for our next lesson we will be tackling speech. For the first one, if you remember, we tackled what news is. Now, let us discuss what is a speech. It is the communication or expression of thoughts in spoken words, exchange of spoken words, conversation, something that is spoken, and usually a public discourse. Let us have some examples. A teacher lecturing on a specific topic during a class. The second example is guest speaker presenting information to a group of students about how to apply for senior high school. Now tabalites. Come, hang out, and read. Let us have the comprehension check. Class, again, do not forget to read carefully the questions as well as the options or the choices for you to answer the questions correctly. 
Let us start. Number four, five, six. Question number nine and number ten. So we have here the reference class. Do not forget. That reading is the gateway skill that makes all other learning possible. That is by Barack Obama. That's it only for today, class. So, Tobalites, kindly wait for more videos about our reading literacy program, which is CHAR. Cam, hang out, and read. Once again, good day, everyone. Thank you.